welcome to Vibrant Living. I'm Dr. Lisa. Today we were at the Sahegan Soccer Farm in Amherst, New Hampshire with Ben Brewster and we collected some really nice treats to take back to our Vibrant Living kitchen today. So we're going to start with making a beautiful salad with some lettuce that Ben had picked for us earlier today. Um, then we're going to ease into a um, angel hair pasta with lemon and garlic fresh tomato sauce. And then we're going to do an ice cold green organic tea with some fresh mint from the farm today. We are going to start with some of our ingredients here on our beautiful platter. We have some scallions that we're going to chop into our salad. And again, this salad is a very light salad, so minimal ingredients but great flavor. Oh, it smells so good already. Excellent. So we're going to go put these in our bowl right over here. And we'll bring those over to our salad in just a few minutes. And then we have some beautiful radishes that Ben had picked for us today as well. So we're just going to cut the ends off of that and do some really nice fine slices, very thin. And of course radishes are such a pretty reddish pink color. It's going to add some really pretty beauty to the top of our salad. Beautiful. So we'll put that here as well. And we're going to also add a little bit of our garlic stems that Ben had picked for us too. Uh, this is the top of the garlic before it turns into this, which we're going to incorporate into our sauce. So we're going to just add a little bit of flavor of the garlic, very light flavor. We don't want it to be too overpowering to our guests. So we're lightly going to chop these as well. Beautiful. So we're just going to add this into our bowl. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go over to our lettuce leaves. Okay, so I rinsed off our lettuce. Ben had given us some really pretty red lettuce and some green lettuce, so they're nice and crisp and fresh. And with salads, I always like to um, incorporate it not just into a salad bowl, I like to make a salad platter. So something different from the norm. So I'll take my lettuce leaves and lay them gently on our beautiful platter. Kind of changes up your idea of salad. Sometimes you know, if you have salad every night, it might get a little boring for you. So you want to add a little bit of decorativeness to your salad. So you're going to lay out your lettuce leaves. You're going to add on your radishes on top. Really pretty. And we have our scallions. And we have our garlic stems, adding nice flavor, again, but not overpowering. And we're going to make a very light vinaigrette with some balsamic vinegar and some fresh extra virgin olive oil. There we go. We're going to use every little bit here because it's so yummy. Good. Very pretty and very simple. Okay, now we're just going to make a real quick um, dressing for our salad. We're going to take some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of that in here on, to our container, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Add a little dash of that. Adds a nice sweetness to the dressing. We're going to do a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of cracked pepper. Beautiful. And we're going to take a whisk, lightly whisk that all together. And our dressing is done. We're going to pour it right over the top. Again, it's a very light balsamic vinaigrette. Again, not a lot of ingredients, but a lot of flavor. Beautiful. Get all of that out there. Perfect. So we are going to make um, a really nice refreshing iced tea to go with our light lunch today. Um, it's an organic green tea. Um, what we're going to do is I brewed up some organic green tea a little bit earlier and I am going to actually put it on ice in our pitcher here to cool it down just a little bit. It was in the refrigerator 
um, still a little bit warm. You can certainly do this way ahead of time before your guests arrive. That way it'll be nice and chilled. Throw some more ice in here. And we're going to pour our green tea into our pitcher. Let it get nice and chilled. And then what I've also done is brought a little bit of honey. We're going to put a little bit of honey in our pitcher to add a little bit of sweetness. And stir that together here. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And I have our glasses here. What I'm going to do is take a lemon and we're going to roll the lemon so that we can get and extract all the juices so they're all set free inside our lemon. And then we are going to just cut off the end here. And what I'm going to do is actually just brush a little bit of the lemon right around our rim of our glass like this. And then I have a little bit of raw organic sugar right here on our plate. And I'm going to turn the glass upside down and get some of that sugar on our rim just to make it a little bit more special than iced tea for an afternoon luncheon. So here we go. We have our iced tea right in here. And we also have some fresh mint from the Sahegan Soccer Farm. So I'm going to chop up a little bit of our fresh mint for our iced tea. It's going to help to make it very refreshing, add a little bit of flavor. And I like to just chop it and just put it right inside the pitcher. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to pour that right in our pitcher here. Again, give it another little stir. Kind of incorporate all that together. Beautiful. And then, we are going to pour it in here. And some people like the mint floating around. And it's okay to swallow the mint and eat the mint. So don't think like there's something floating in it um, that you shouldn't be eating. It is edible. Um, and so as you see, it just rises to the top. Mmm. It's refreshing. Now we're going to move on to our pasta dish, which is an angel hair pasta with a lemon garlic sauce. It's a very light sauce. Uh, it could be used for um, an appetizer. It could be used for a light luncheon, but it's a very elegant, light sauce. So what we're going to do is start off by uh, taking our onion, and we're going to be chopping this. And this initial recipe didn't call for an onion, but I love onion, and it adds a nice flavor to the sauce, even though it's a light sauce. It shouldn't be too overpowering. I'm just going to peel that layer off. Okay, and we're just going to do a light dice. I love the sound that an onion makes when it's being chopped. There's just something nice and crunchy about it. And again, a lot of the dishes I make are very rustic Italian dishes, which basically means things don't have to be exactly perfect, um, so it adds a nice flair to it when things aren't exactly all the same size. It adds a nice rustic touch to your dish. Great. Our onion looks fabulous. Now we're going to use some of the garlic that Ben gave us earlier today. I'm going to clean that up a bit. Let's use a smaller knife for that. Now garlic can be overpowering, but in this case we're just going to use a couple of cloves. And in order to release the garlic, these are nice little baby tender garlic pieces. Peel that off. What you do is you take the back of your knife, come onto your garlic, tap it down, break off the skin, peel it back. Clean that up a bit. And we are going to dice the garlic. 
that looks great. Let's do a little bit more since we lost a few. And our iced tea over here that we have that I'm sipping on while I'm cooking in the kitchen here is just very refreshing and uplifting. Very happy drink. Okay, again, we're gonna just take the back of our knife, kinda hit it a little bit, and this tender skin of the garlic just peels right off. Very nice piece of garlic, very fresh. It's not time to cook yet, it's 3.30. We are. <laughs> so we'll take off the part where the garlic went flying. Okay. <laughs> we're going to continue on. Okay. So we're going to continue just chopping up our garlic. We want quite a bit for this, but yet it won't be overpowering to our dish. Great. Lovely. Smells so great. I wish you could smell this. Well, you will when you make it at home. Beautiful. Okay, we're just about ready here. One more. So this recipe will easily feed four. If you're expecting a little bit more or you have some hearty eaters, obviously double the recipe. We'll be posting that for you. Okay, so we have our onion and our garlic all chopped up and ready to go. So we are going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to our pan. Great, get that going. Enough to cover the bottom. So we can gently saute our onion and garlic. Beautiful. Our pan should be almost ready to go. Good, good. And once we throw in our onion and our garlic, we're gonna hear a really nice sizzle. And it's gonna be releasing those great flavors that we're looking for for this dish. This dish is, like I said, a very light and elegant sauce, so it's gonna have a lot of flavor, but nothing's gonna be overpowering another ingredient. We're getting there. Okay, so we're going to add our onion and our garlic. And we're gonna save the pasta for right before the sauce is done. Uh, we have a very light, fresh angel hair pasta, as you can see right over here. And it really takes about 30 seconds to about a minute to cook. So we're gonna save that right to the end. Right here I have my water boiling. I'm going to add a little bit of organic sea salt in there just to flavor up the pasta just a little bit. And I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil into the water so that our pasta does not stick together because nobody likes sticky pasta. There we go, let that boil up. And I can hear a lovely sizzle right over here with our onion and our garlic mixture. Ooh, and it's already releasing flavors. Mmm, smells good already. And there's nothing like a house that smells like onion and garlic. The aroma is just like, makes you feel so good. Mmm, that smells delish. So we're gonna let that here um, sizzle for a little bit. What I'm gonna do is come over here and take our onion, uh, I'm sorry, our tomato off our vine. We have some tomatoes that were fresh off the vine for our light sauce. I'm gonna cut those up into small chunks. I'm gonna pour out that middle piece here. Mmm. Just all this sense of food is just, oh, smells so fresh. Reminds me of my mom's garden growing up. She had about 100 tomato plants. We'd go down and pick fresh tomatoes, 
for lunch, add them to our salads, eat them on a bagel, yum. So I'm going to cut up some fresh vine ripe tomatoes into some chunks. Ooh, they're nice and juicy. That's going to be great for our sauce. Very light and fresh. And you could use, you know, throw in some yellow tomatoes if you wanted to, some gourmet tomatoes. These are off the vine, so they smell great. Like I said, they're fresh, vibrant red color, juicy. I can't get better than that. Beautiful. There's one. We're going to just give a quick stir right over here. Our onion and garlic is doing great. Starting to melt down a little bit. We don't want the garlic to burn, so we need to keep an eye on it. We don't want anything burnt in our sauce. And let's do one more tomato. Mmm, smells great. Our tomatoes look lovely. We're getting there. Cooking is a labor of love, I think. You want to see people enjoy what you've made and see them happy and want you to make it for them again sometime. So this is great. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Very lovely. Okay. So again, our garlic and onion is doing just great right over here. Now we're going to be incorporating a little bit of dry white wine into the sauce. Just about another minute here. And I've chosen an Italian Pinot Grigio today. Don't you just love saying Pinot Grigio? It has a nice little ring to it. So this is just a small little bottle. Um, if you wanted to prepare this with a bottle that you're going to be serving at dinner, um, certainly incorporate the same wine that you're going to be serving your guests at dinner into the dish so it carries the same flavor through. So, let's see here. Open this up. There we go. Okay. There we go. Looks lovely. So we're going to put about a half a cup of white, dry white wine into our mixture that's gently sauteing here. And we're going to take it off the stove to add that. Mmm. Let's just do one bottle. There we go. And we're going to let this reduce down. Ooh, it smells delicious. Mmm. And this really is a quick and easy sauce. And it's basically made with a lot of ingredients that perhaps you already have in your pantry. So that's always a good thing. So you can have an elegant gourmet on the Johnny on the spot kind of dinner without having to stress out about it. So we're going to let that reduce down just a little bit. We're also going to be adding some lemon juice once we add in our tomatoes into the sauce. So again, we had squeezed our lemon earlier to re uh, release some of the juices that are in here so it would be a lot easier and quicker um, to get our lemons into our sauce. We're going to add a little bit of lemon. So we'll make sure we catch some of those seeds. Beautiful. Oh, pretty colors, pretty flavor. All right. I think I did get one seed in there. There we go. Okay, so this is reduced down. Now we are going to add in our tomato. And I am just going to take the cutting board right over here. And I am just gently going to add this right into the sauce. Isn't that lovely? smells amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it really does. So we have our lovely tomatoes in here. Beautiful. We're going to let those simmer down and cook for a little bit. Make sure 
sure it's on high enough. It is. Beautiful. And we also got some fresh basil today at the farm, right over here. So mm, we are going to take our basil and cut off the ends here. We're going to roll it nice and tight, put it all together, and we roll it. And what we're going to do is we're going to chiffonade it, which means that we are going to cut it into strips. So once it's rolled, you hold it firmly, and then you just slice into nice little strips. And basil bruises easily, so you're going to want to do that right before your dish is done so that it doesn't turn brown, so it stays nice and fresh. There we go, beautiful. We're going to let that sit there just for a minute. Check on our sauce over here. Looks good. And again, the wine is reducing down. Yum, yum. Beautiful. And the tomatoes are releasing their juices. Looks just lovely. Now we're going to put our pasta in. Our water is boiling nice and rigorously right now. And what I do, since I have two daughters and um, I like to make it easier for them to eat their pasta, sometimes when you buy fresh pasta in the store, it's, the strand is really, really long, so you have to twirl and twirl and twirl. So I have this little trick that I do is that I just kind of cut it right up here to make a little bit smaller pieces. So I'm going to do that. Cut it right here. And again, our water is boiling great. It has some sea salt in it and some olive oil so our pasta doesn't stick. We are going to just loosen this up, put it right inside of our boiling water here. Looks fantastic. And fresh pasta, if you've ever made it at home, it takes just a little while to cook. So that means our dish is almost done. So we're going to give that a quick little stir. Ooh, it's already looking great. Honestly, it takes about 30 seconds to about a minute to be completely done. Our sauce looks again fantastic. And I'm going to grab our serving bowl right over here. We have our lovely serving bowl here. Pasta is pretty much done. Looks wonderful. It smells delicious. Okay, so what we're going to do is strain out our pasta since it's done. And this little pot is fantastic because it has the strainer already built in it. So you can just lift it out, give it a little shake. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. And you want to leave a little bit of the pasta water in here. Um, it is starchy water, so when we add our sauce, it's going to stick to our pasta. Um, you know, who wants to take a bite of their pasta and have their sauce that you've worked on slide right off? So you want to leave a little bit of that pasta water still here so you would not rinse it. And we're going to just place it right here in our bowl. And beautiful. It looks fantastic. Just lovely. And our pasta has not stuck because we've added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil when we were preparing the boiling water. Looks fantastic. Our sauce is complete. Looks great. We're going to turn that off. And if you wanted to let your sauce sit for a minute before you added it on top of your pasta, you certainly can do that. That way the sauce is kind of just meld together a little bit and kind of thicken up a little bit more. So we are all set with this. We are going to add a little bit of our, ex our sea salt, add a little bit more flavor so the juices come out of the tomatoes, and a little bit of organic cracked pepper. Mm. I like pepper. I'm just eyeballing it. Beautiful. Mmm. Smells delicious. Okay, so we are going to pour our sauce, spoon it over. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this lovely sauce is. A very light, elegant sauce for our elegant luncheon today. Mmm, that looks delicious. Smells great. 
and pick a pretty serving bowl to put your pasta in. It always makes it taste better. Wonderful. Um, every little last bit here. Ooh, that looks good. Beautiful. And next we're just going to add our basil right to the top. Very lovely. And we're just going to chop up a little bit of fresh parsley that we got at the farm earlier today as well. The greens look so pretty on our light sauce. There we go. Add that on. Looks just beautiful. And the last ingredient is some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. We're going to take that and shave it on here. Oh, does that look good? Oh, and I love it. It adds a little salty bite to it and a really nice nutty flavor. Love, love, love it. Mmm. Give a little tap and there we go. And here you have angel hair pasta with a lemon garlic sauce. So here we have it. We have our first meal here, um, our angel hair pasta. We have our light, beautiful salad with a nice light balsamic vinaigrette with some fresh, fresh radishes, some scallion onions, and a little bit of our garlic uh, strands. And we also have made a beautiful, delicious, fresh organic green iced tea with fresh mint. It really is refreshing. You have to try it. So let's see how it came out. Put a little bit of this right on my plate. Mmm, the garlic, you can smell it. Not overpowering, however. Fresh pasta. Mmm, looks good. And we're gonna take a little bit of our salad. Again, it has a very light dressing on it. There we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? And me being Italian, we put everything on one plate. We don't use salad bowls. <laughs> oh, that looks lovely. A little bit of radish and our tea. Let's try that out here. Mmm. Again, we cut up our pasta so that it's smaller strands. Nice and hot. I serve everything always piping hot at home. Give a little blow here. Mmm. Mmm, that is delicious and refreshing. Try a little bit of our salad. Get a little radish on here. Mmm. Fresh. Just delicious. Wash it down with a little bit of our tea. Wonderful. So I'd like to thank Sahegan Soccer Farm for supplying us with some of this fine ingredients today for our dish. And I'd like to thank GM Roth for their use of this beautiful kitchen today. And I'd like to thank you for joining us at the Vibrant Living Kitchen um, because, you know, life is all about how you eat, how you move, and how you think. So eat well, be well, and live a vibrant life. Thank you.